It was midnight when the enemy base went quiet, deep underground, buried beneath reinforced steel doors and layers of rock. Soldiers sat in a fortified bunker. They laughed. They ate. They felt safe. After all, this base had been designed to withstand earthquakes, missile strikes, even nuclear blasts. Then, a faint whistle. A single bomb dropped from the sky. It slammed into the earth with terrifying force. But here's the strange part. It didn't explode. Instead, the bunker shook violently as the bomb drilled deeper and deeper, smashing through layers of rock and concrete. And then, silence. A split second later, the world erupted. A thunderous explosion tore through the underground complex, vaporizing everything inside. The fortress that once seemed indestructible was gone in seconds. The weapon, a bunker buster bomb. Of course, this isn't a real event, but it could be. And tonight, we're going to uncover how these bombs work, the terrifying weapons that dig before they destroy. So what makes a bunker buster different from every other bomb in history? To understand its power, we need to go back to its origins and then peel back the layers of engineering that turn it into the nightmare of underground fortresses. Origins of the Bunker Buster The idea of destroying underground defenses isn't new. In World War II, the Germans built bunkers so strong, conventional bombs bounced off them like pebbles. To break through, the Allies created massive bombs like the Tallboy and Grand Slam, designed not just to explode but to penetrate deep into the earth first. Fast forward to the Cold War, underground command centers and nuclear silos became the heart of military strategy. The US needed a weapon that could strike these hidden fortresses. The solution? The modern bunker buster bomb. How it works? The engineering behind the nightmare. Unlike conventional bombs that explode on impact, a bunker buster is designed to wait. Its casing is made of hardened steel or depleted uranium, built like a massive drill bit. When dropped, Gravity and velocity turn it into a spear, smashing through soil, rock, and reinforced concrete. Inside is a delayed fuse, the brain of the bomb. Instead of detonating instantly, it counts milliseconds, waiting until the bomb has tunneled to its target. Only then does it unleash its explosive payload. Think of it like a predator. Ordinary bombs strike prey on the surface. The bunker buster burrows into its lair and destroys it from within. The types of bunker busters. The GBU-28, developed during the Gulf War, weighs 5,000 pounds and can punch through 20 feet of concrete before detonating. The GBU-57, also known as the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, takes it to another level. At 30,000 pounds, it's the largest non-nuclear bomb in the US arsenal, able to dig more than 200 feet into the earth. And yes, there are even nuclear variants, designed not just to collapse bunkers, but entire underground cities. What they target so what exactly are bunker busters designed to kill? Not people, but infrastructure, underground command centers, hardened missile silos, storage facilities buried beneath mountains. In short, places designed to survive conventional warfare, but with bunker busters, survival becomes impossible. Imagine a command bunker buried under 11 stories of concrete and rock. To the soldiers inside, it feels untouchable. To a bunker buster, it's just another target. Real-world power. The destructive potential is staggering. Dropped from high altitude, gravity accelerates the bomb to supersonic speeds. When it slams into the ground, it generates enough force to shatter structures even before it detonates. Once the fuse triggers, the confined space multiplies the blast effect. The shockwave reverberates through tunnels, collapsing walls, suffocating oxygen, and reducing everything inside to rubble. To put it simply, if a conventional bomb destroys buildings, a bunker buster destroys the ground itself. Why they matter in modern warfare. In an age where nations hide their most critical assets underground, bunker busters are more than bombs, they're political weapons. They send a message, you can build your fortress, but we can still reach you. This is why bunker busters remain one of the most feared weapons in military strategy. They strip away the illusion of safety, proving that nowhere underground is truly secure. So when we ask what happens when a bunker buster shows its full potential, the answer is simple, no bunker survives, it's the bomb that drills into the earth, the predator that digs before it kills, and the weapon that makes even the deepest fortresses feel fragile. This was the bunker buster bomb, the nightmare of the underground. 
But the story doesn't end here. Because if you think this is terrifying, wait until we reveal the weapon that makes the Bunker Buster look small, the massive Ordnance Penetrator. Subscribe now, because this is just the beginning of Air Dominance TV, 